This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Almost universally deemed a forgery, long before Arizona Sheriff Joe Arpaio's forensic examination found it to be created digitally and never having existed in paper form. My investig investigators believe that the long form birth certificate was manufactured electronically and that it did not originate in a paper format as claimed by the uh, White House. Without even a digital examination, it is obvious it is a cut and paste job with at least eight different typewriter fonts. Are we to believe Obama's birth certificate was typed up on eight different typewriters? Highly unlikely. Further, the digital PDF shows multiple layers, bitmap versus grayscale, misspelling on the registrar's stamp, just to name three of the dozen or so anomalies. Barack Obama, having no documents to prove he is a natural-born citizen, as required by the U.S. Constitution, must be deemed ineligible to hold the office of the President of the United States. Intelligence expert and author of the just-published mammoth 700-page book, Spy Hunter, Michael Shrimpton states that the CIA took a DNA sample of Obama prior to the 2008 election and found that the woman Obama now states is his mother, Stanley Ann Dunham, is in fact not related to Obama. It's also nice to have a DNA relationship with your parents. Um, and the DNA test that was done uh, in respect of Barack Obama's claimed grandparents, uh, I, sh I understand the CIA were unable to obtain a match. No link, end of case. Uh, Barack has led by example. Uh, when we took our trip to Africa and visited his home country, Besides, I happen to know that my approval ratings are still very high in the country of my birth. Uh, it's true, I'm not American. Yeah, I was not born in Hawaii. I wasn't born in the United States of America. Uh, I come from Kenya. And so I think people saw my election as, uh, as proof, as testimony that our society has continued to become more and more night. And we are still a place where anybody has a chance to make it through misleading and dishonest practices if they try. If that wasn't true, then somebody named Barack Hussein Obama uh, from Kenya, from Africa, would not be elected president of the United States. A fact admitted by Obama, this should have precluded him from even running for president.